Hi, Kevin here. Today I'd like to show you how to make three easy and delicious and definitely traditional tea sandwiches. Afterwards, I'd like to invite you to enjoy the fruits of our labor in the music room. In other words, I'm inviting you to afternoon tea. Now, when you're making tea sandwiches, it's really important to consider the bread. Any white or brown variety will do, providing that it has a sturdy structure and no air holes. My basic white bread or the pan de mie I made a video of not too long ago are both perfect for tea sandwiches. But if you'd rather buy something from the store, I recommend Pepperidge Farm sandwich bread. Its taste and texture is similar to that of pan de mie. And this is what I'm going to be using today. First up is the classic cucumber sandwich and I will be using a hothouse cucumber. Yeah, a hothouse cucumber is perfect for sandwiches because it has a low moisture content and only really tiny seeds. Also, it has a smooth skin, so you really don't have to peel it. What you do is lop off the end, or the ends if you're going to use the whole cucumber, then cut off a four inch section of the cucumber, then grab a mandolin and we're going to slice this not into rounds but into lengths. See how quickly the mandolin works? Let's have a look. These are perfect. They're almost paper thin slices. And the reason I do the lengthwise slices is because the rounds always tend to fall out of the sandwiches. And that's not very elegant. Next up, butter the bread. I'm going to use this really good Irish butter. It is softened to room temperature because I want it to be easy to spread. You want to be generous with the butter. The butter is going to seal the bread so that the Moist filling does not seep through. Then add the cucumber. I'm going to use four strips for each sandwich. I'm going to make nine fingers or rectangular sandwiches. So I have six slices of bread here. Okay, there we go. Then add some salt and pepper. These are really simple sandwiches. And you don't want to add any other fillings here because remember, tea sandwiches are dainty things. Then close the sandwiches with the, the other buttered slice of bread and press them down with your impeccably clean hand. Then we have to remove the crusts. And to remove the crusts, you'll want to use a serrated knife. Well, there is a little bit of waste here, but you can always eat these scraps. That's what I'm going to do. Now, let's see, I want to get three fingers out of this. So you just cut the sandwich into thirds. Let's have a look. Very pretty. Actually, I take that back about this serrated knife. I think a normal knife like this, as long as it's really sharp, works even better. There's less tearing. You get a cleaner edge with this kind of knife. 
Next, we're doing a chicken salad sandwich. So what I have here are two skinless, boneless chicken breasts that I pressure cooked in the Instant Pot last night. I'm going to pop, I guess I'll just do one of the breasts into the food processor. And then I'm going to grind them up This is perfect. Now tip the chicken into a bowl. And then you could add mayonnaise or even the vegan equivalent of mayonnaise. I think it's called veganaise. Or you could use what I'm using today, horseradish sauce. This is really just horseradish added to mayonnaise. I think this is going to need about two tablespoons. One, two. Let's see how that works. Yeah, you don't want it to be too mayonnaise-y. I could use another squirt here. So that's about three or three and a half tablespoons. Oh, this is perfect now. You could add tiny, uh, a tiny dice of celery or celery and onion if you like. But I think this is going to be good just with the chicken and the horseradish mayo. Then we want to stir in some grinds of black pepper and some salt. Okay, then I already have my bread buttered. And by the way, you always butter the bread, even if you're using mayonnaise. Mayonnaise will seep through the bread. Butter will stop the mayo from seeping through. You don't want to put too much filling on any sandwich because Remember, the key word is dainty. Okay, that looks good. Well, I told you these were easy. These are the same sandwiches that I enjoyed at Kensington Palace. I think I mentioned in another video that my friend Harold was Princess Margaret's butler, and he used to invite us to afternoon tea whenever we were in London. So we had Margaret's leftover sweets and savories from afternoon tea. And this is exactly what we were served. So if these sandwiches were good enough for Princess Margaret, well, they're good enough for me. Now, I think I will cut these into triangles. So you cut twice and push the bread back down. Let's see. Yep, this looks terrific. Next up, is an egg and cress sandwich. So, true confession, I purchased this egg salad from a local deli. And it was very chunky, so I took this potato masher and I just mashed it up just to really cut up all the chunks of egg white and whatnot. And I already know it has enough salt. So I am going to add some pepper. And for color and flavor, some paprika. Stir that in. Yeah, it's egg salad from the deli, but it is a very good egg salad. 
Who says you can't take shortcuts when you're making tea sandwiches? Not me. Okay, and then I already have my bread buttered. So I'm going to add, oh, a tablespoon or so of the egg salad. I hope you can see all right. I have a different camera set up today. And then, oh, I need to add the watercress. These are watercress leaves that I plucked off their stems and then I just tore them a little. I didn't finely chop them or anything. I just throw them on. Watercress is absolutely delicious. The leaves are mildly peppery. I just love it. It's like my new favorite thing. Close the sandwich as, and then as before, cut off the crust. Now, what do you think? Fingers or triangles? Hmm. I think I'll do triangles. Lovely. All right, our tea sandwiches are ready. And I wanted to show you the little desserts we're going to enjoy. So these are little sugar cookie tartlets that I made yesterday. It's a sugar cookie dough that I put in a muffin tin and then formed into cups. And then I filled them with lemon curd. And the only thing they need is a little decoration. And for that, I'm going to use blueberries. Of course, we can't have afternoon tea without tea. And the tea du jour is English breakfast tea. It's very fragrant. When you're making tea, first heat the pot, pour some boiling water into the pot and let it sit for a couple of minutes. Then pour out the water and add one teaspoon for each cup and one for the pot. Then add boiling water, not hot water, boiling. Cover and let this steep, oh, for five to 10 minutes. By the way, I really love this tea tray that I purchased recently. It's really sturdy. So I can fit the tea. I have the French sugar cubes, the sugar tongs, the tea strainer. I just have to add a couple of cups. All right. Let's head into the music room. finger sandwich. Delicious. This is the cucumber sandwich. So good. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I hope you will try making your own tea sandwiches. They're really easy to do. Just make sure that you don't overfill them. And if you'd like to see more tea recipes from me, by all means, post a comment below. Also, 
Be sure to subscribe and to tap the little bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.